Hello everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. We're on the PTR and we're looking at the newest hero, which is Blaze, a firebat coming of course from the StarCraft universe. Um, so he's quite a big tanky hero. He actually is pretty good initiation and decent CC, very good zone control and good AoE damage. Uh, he's been a lot of fun to play so far. Unfortunately, I've tried a few games at the dog, barked through one of them. Uh, we had someone just DC and leave the game in the other one and they've all been stomps, so... Hopefully we, uh, hopefully we will be on YouTube, fingers crossed. I'm probably going to be a little bit salty in this game because I've been trying to record this for almost three hours now. And we've really just had long queues and no progress. But we got some viewers on board this time around. So it should be good. Level one anyway, we're going to grab Neural Stim Pack. 40 second cooldown, activate it, gain 50 mana, and makes our abilities charge twice as fast for five seconds. That's a pretty big deal, I think. Because uh, your abilities are pretty, pretty important to how you play. Our W, that's it. We throw out an oil slick, which is cool. We can set it on fire with our Q, so it'll do decent damage. Let's get in there. All right, let's start uh, doing some damage with this as well. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, there we go. That went okay. Nice damage there, team. Nice damage there. We're going in. Set them on fire. Oil slick didn't hit. They knocked me back. They've got knockbacks. Feels bad. Burn them. Burn him! Oh, we didn't get the kill. That's okay. I'm going to pop down to bottom lane and we'll talk about his abilities while I clear some waves, eh? That's <laughs> probably the best way to do things. So our Q looks like this. We fire like a twin blade skill shot thingy. It does damage each one. Um, and also, crucially, each time we hit with that, we can set our oil sticks on fire, right? Which will then burn and do a dot damage. You can see that ticking away, which is cool. And every time we hit a hero, we reduce the cooldown of our trait by five seconds. So our trait... Uh, will like pulse AoE damage and give us 25 armor uh, for 4 seconds. It's quite powerful actually. Uh, let's go in here, sort of see it in action a little bit. Alright, let's do some damage to these guys. Nice damage there team, nice damage, nice damage. He might be looking for a swap there. Oh, that's good damage with the burn. I'm tempted to charge in, I'm waiting, see if we can bait them in. I'm looking scared, trying for a bait, looking for a bait. This looks okay. I'm going in, team. There we go. There's the bait. We got him. There's another one. Lovely. All right. This looks like it's probably going to be a win. Good start so far. Enemy team making a lot of mistakes. Let's throw down an oil stick there. Set it on fire. It's not going to do any damage. But we scared him. We put the fear in him, boys. We put the fear in him. I see a big juicy wave up top. We're going to go do that. Level four, we're going to grab oil dispersal, which is going to increase the area and slow of our oil slick. Uh, our oil stick is by default a pretty good slow. It's a 40% slow for 5 seconds. Like I said, very good area control. And kind of crucially with this, you kind of have to make a decision. I think it's a very interesting decision on whether you leave the oil down for the slow or whether you ignite it for damage. And I think probably, hello, uh, let's just charge out again. <laughs> Seems fine. Uh, I, I fought a lot of our Tannis today, actually, and our Tannis kind of kicks our ass in lane, so bear that in mind. It's pretty bad news. Uh, let's charge away. Bye. You can use our E to escape, which is actually pretty useful. Uh, I'm going to pop down mid, see if we can maybe do something. Mm, doesn't look like it. All right, we'll hang around top a little bit longer. Control points activating in middle. That's okay. Put down an oil slick. So that's for five seconds. All right, let's set it on fire now. Cool. There we go. There we go. We're going to burn these minions. Just get that XP. You can see our wave clear is nice and fast. Kill this thing. There we go. Right. Make your way down. Oh, you also heal while you stand in your fire, right? So the bigger oil spills and the bigger fire things are going to be nice for that. Extra survivability, extra tankiness means we can, like, engage more and all that good stuff. Which is all good. It's all good, right? It's all good. Tychus is doing good damage to us here. Can we kill her before she does her bomb? Not quite. Not quite. Tychus, he's coming in. Uh, but we're going in on him. Who's winning? Hmm. Let's see that down for the slow. Slow should be good. Might put him off engaging here. Okay, it's going to expire in a second, so I'm going to set it on fire. There we go. See if we can do damage to this Tychus. He's trying to run away. Put down this slow to slow him. Hey, there we go. Charge through on him. Nice. Don't know if we can kill him now. Don't know if we can kill him. We'll try. Uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. We did good damage, though. We're going to get grill and kill here at level 7, which is a quest to uh, apply our oil damage to enemy heroes. We're just going to wave clear. Tychus might look for a kill. Got no mana, so I have to be kind of careful. Oh, he got it. Jerk. You jerk. You took it. You jerk. Uh, I want to stay here for the XP. Mine. Ha. I'll take this one. Now who's laughing? Uh, maybe him. He won't be able to kill me. Oh, no. He interrupted my charge. 
You got a five half a second wind up for the charge now. Teammate still got a kill, which is nice. I'm gonna Hearthstone, come back in with full health, full mana, have the well available then to re-engage. Given that Tychus is dead, we should be fine. Chromie has her heroic as well, did decent damage there, gonna run into the middle and help out. Um, and yeah, that's basically the plan, right? That's basically the plan. Okay, looking good, looking good. So yeah, the idea is we go in, you know, we kind of get armor, we do pull slots of AoE damage, we're putting down all these slows, we turn them into dot uh, zones on the ground. Now, they, of course, don't do any uh, slow when they're down, so we have to kind of work that out. Do we preference the slow or do we preference the dot? That's a big decision. He should die to Tracer, I think. Oh, I wanted to grab that globe for my team, but I missed it. Wasn't quick enough on the clicks there. Uh, all right, our team should have that locked down. They're all dead, so I'm going to go top and soak this big wave. Maybe get us to level 10. We could push in, make a big level 10 push, and yeah, just kick some ass, basically. That's the plan. We've only got two stacks of requests. We actually need to land our uh, our, our uh, oil and fire on someone, get that done. Once this is done, this will increase the duration of our, um, of our oil slick ignite by two seconds, and the damage for 25%. Now, the ignite normally only lasts for 2.5 seconds. So a two second increase is huge, and the damage by 25%, that's huge as well. I'm gonna grab Combustion. It's not Bunker Drop, which is maybe the more interesting one, but I think this might be the better one overall. Again, I'll cover that. You can see there you can layer up the oil strips. If the oil strip touches one that's already ablaze, it will go ablaze itself. So you can kind of use that to also min-max and cover lots of the ground with your oil, if you so desire. I think I'm gonna come down and join my team. We might even dive them here. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Let's charge into you. All right, lovely. Come into my oil. Come into my oil. Stone him in this. This should be good. Slow him down. Boom, and he goes. Ba, bada bing, bada boom. That worked lovely. Uh, Tracer really doing work in this particular game. So, um, the way this heroic works, combustion, you saw it makes this big AoE around you. Um, you can reactivate it, or after charging for uh, 2.6 seconds, it will automatically activate. Uh, and it will do like this big, uh, a big, you know, dot on the enemy team again, which will last longer the longer you channel it, and also does a 60% slow, which also lasts longer the longer you channel it. So it's a pretty big deal for doing, you know, just uh, team fight control essentially. You're doing lots of slows and lots of zone control. It just becomes scary to walk near you um, because that's a very long slow. That's actually very potent. You really have to watch out for that if you're the enemy team. It should work nicely. Let's see if we can set her on fire here. Get some stacks for a quest. We got a few. Uh, let's see if we can charge away. Bye bye. There we go. I'm just gonna run. See ya. Hit them with our Q. Reduce the cooldown on our traits. Tap a well. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, he's going for the swap there. Didn't quite get it though. We got some stacks in our Q. That's nice. Hello. Do that for a bit of damage. Oh, I'm very tempted to go in, but I'll resist the urge. Are you really chasing me? Okay. I don't mind too much. I'm very tempted to engage here. Our teammates are nowhere near, though, so I'll resist. And set that on fire for a bit of damage. Chromie is going to go down. Hit him with that. We've got our D back up, but we've lost a good chunk of HP. We do heal while we stand in our fire as well, so we can use that to our advantage a little bit. Um, I'm right, just waiting for the opportune moment. This looks like it. There we go. Charge up! Fire it off on the Tychus! Lock him down. Boom! I probably should have engaged sooner. Uh, let's see if we can set up a flank here. Uh, everything's dead, so we're good. Let's put a slow here. We can stun this guy as well. Another slow down there. All right, that's okay. We're gonna get uh, jet fuel. We're gonna make uh, more oil when we use our charge or stun, which should be really nice, actually. Let's see it here in action. There we go. He's slowed down. He's not gonna enjoy that. Tell you that much. And just the slow. Not even using that for damage there. Just the slow, and that's gonna do the trick. More enemies coming in. I'm being shot by this. I should survive. There we go. I'm fine. Teammates doing some damage as we go. Throw this down for a bit of a slow on the back end. Lovely. Nice. Tychus in a bit of a rough spot there. Almost pull back into the root. Almost, almost. Not quite, but almost. This will do a bit of extra damage. Burn him. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'm charging in, team. There we go. Bit of an oil slick there. We'll take it again. 
I might die now, actually. Probably. No, I'm good. Close, though. Very close, though. Oh, that's slow. That damage. Oh, they, they're gone. Boom. Kablamo. They're dead. Let's come uh, soak up this XP for the team, though. Okay, that's a lot of... It's a lot of dudes here. Let's burn them. Burn them. Oh, nice. We just melt these waves. I mean, it feels super fun just to be laying down all this fire. Uh, this is a bit of a stomp the other way, but uh, hopefully you're seeing some of the plays that Blaze can make. So you can really see, you really notice like when they change from being slowed to um, to taking that burning damage. It really does make a big difference. It's a big momentum swing. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice there was a big fight happening up here. We want to get involved in this for sure. Alright, let's charge up our thing here. Oh, we got silence. That's not good. That's going to stop us in our tracks, as it were. You be careful. Don't want to soak up too much damage. Uh, I was thinking about going back in, but... So this down for slow should be good. There we go. Slowing them all. Slow's about to expire, so we'll throw down the fire for some wave clear, a bit extra damage. Chromie gets the kill. Nice. Got no mana, so we have to be careful in terms of engaging. Beautiful kill there. Alright, I'm going to again go soak some XP. Um... Gonna get thermal pr uh, protection, so this will uh, make our jet uh, give us armor when we hit heroes and reduce the cooldown for hero hit. So that's really gonna enable that aggressive gameplay, right? We charge in on top of them, we lay down the oil, we're pulsing damage, we've got loads of armor, we're getting cooldown reduction, we're doing AoE, and they just can't deal with it. That's that's the plan. Let's see how he does at Mercs. I've no, I've actually no idea. I've actually no idea how he is at Mercs. Probably all right. Probably all right. Let's see. Okay, so we just want to keep maximum oil spill damage. Probably! Oh, my well, probably came and killed it. You also heal yourself. Let's see how we do against these mercs. I think he's going to be really strong, actually. I guess he's going to just kill everything. That's fine, though. Uh, Malph is dying up there, so we want to get back up soon. Right, so you heal for quite a lot while you're standing in your oil uh, fires, actually. That's quite substantial. So we actually kill those who've taken no damage. This was quite good. Now they are dying up top because they are fighting that while we were doing mercs. Um, so rest in pieces. We could just wait for him to respawn or we could fight them now. We've got three level lead. I think we just fight them now. Let's do it. Seems like fun. Nice. You're going to charge up here. Maximum damage. Boom. That's pretty good. There we go. We're burning, healing in our fire! Healing in the fire! Oh, fire MVP! Oh, healing in the fire keeps us alive, barely. Holy mo- I actually thought we are probably going to die there, which should have been fine, right? Because we our team would have killed them. They would have mopped the rest up. But that makes a big difference. Like, look at that really does heal you for a lot. That's It's more powerful than you think, I think. More powerful than you think, I think. I stunned him. No, I didn't. Oh, we're pretty good at fighting this guy now. He's not that much of a threat. Oh, hello. Set him on fire there. We're going to heal in our fire. Nice. Tracer goes in and gets the kill. Look at that self. That's crazy. That really makes that oil talent actually very appealing, because that's a lot of healing, you know? Oh my god, brutal. Gonna charge up our thingy here. Boom, hit the Tychus with it as well. There's fire everywhere. I don't know who's, which is mine, which is the enemy's. Not a clue. Not a clue. He's gonna die now as well. We set that fire too. Um, let's put a turret here, I guess. Why not? Why not? I burn these things down. I like this build. This build is great. And this hero feels very strong now. Very strong. I'm probably going to stream some of this guy. Uh, maybe tonight as well. So you might catch some of that. Just trying to get a feel for him. This is fine. Um, because... Ooh. Ah, <laughs> look at him run. Ah, look at him run. 
Oh yeah. Tracer damage too is just enough. And uh, then we can burn this down. There we go at the end. Nice. All right, awesome stuff, awesome stuff. There we go, let's look at play. So let me cover the uh, talents at the end, and of course we'll check out the stat screen, see how we did. I'll show you again, this is the talent build that I took as well. Kinda got MVP, very well done. All right, nice stuff, nice stuff. So we soaked up the damage, I think everyone did very well. I mean, very, very, very one-sided game, but uh, to be honest, I've been, like I said, doing this for like three hours and every game's been like this, so it is what it is. I mean, I feel like, oh, here we go. I feel like our stats do represent probably a lot of what we were doing. We were doing a lot of the split soaking, which I always do on PTR because people don't do it. Uh, we still did good hero damage though. Overall, um, we contributed pretty well to that too. So yeah, neural stim pack for that uh, ability reduction, I think is really nice. It actually equ equates effectively to a lot more healing because you heal for so much when you're standing in the fire. Uh, oil dispersal, the bigger oil spill area and the slows, that's very nice. Um, then the Ignite lasting longer, that not only does more damage, but that also equates to a lot more survivability. It's really strong. Uh, combustion for, you know, just slowing down the enemy team. You get in on top of them, you kind of pop your spells, and then while your spells are cooling down, you're, you're charging up that combustion, you drop it on top of them, slow them down in the oil even more. Uh, fuel leak, we create, again, more oil, which we can stand in for healing when it's on fire. And then thermal protection, which is super good, I think. He gets armor when you charge in and more stuns, which is fantastic. I like it a lot. Uh, level 20 then, you got a few options. Probably upgrade combustion with this build. So uh, it just slows everyone nearby while you're channeling up your combustion and it doesn't slow you anymore. That seems pretty good. Burn notice could also be good. Doing more damage over time. Right, to quickly cover, let me just say two minutes so our teammates know that they're not waiting around for us. At level one, you've got a few options here. I think this one is probably the best. You also have Endurance Stim Pack, which gives you a big shield, not too bad. Um, or Adrenaline Stim Pack gives you attack speed and movement speed. Seems a little bit underwhelming, in my opinion. His basic attacks are pretty fast anyway, and they don't do that much, I don't think. New Habits looks pretty interesting. Collecting Regen Globes reduce the cooldown of Pyromania, makes you better at laning, and once you've collect 15 you get unstoppable for two seconds that could be very important in certain games unstoppables can be very strong but i do feel like neural stim is probably the best from what i've seen so far level four we've got feeding the flame each enemy hero hit by flame stream reduces the cooldown of oil spill seems all right uh, adhesive petroleum enemies standing in oil spill when it's ignited are slowed by 30 percent for 2.5 seconds that's pretty nice lock them down in that fiery oil spill for longer oil dispersal I think it's pretty good, right? Because the extra slow is quite nice when you use the oil just for slows. And the increased area is pretty nifty too, especially considering it, it synergized pretty well with the other talents, but I think you could choose other things here. And then Meltdown is very intriguing. When you hit an enemy here with Pyromania, which is again where you get armor and you start pulsing AOE damage, it reduces the damage they deal by 5% for two and a half seconds. So you can really reduce the damage the enemy team's gonna do. That could be quite strong as well. So I'm really not sure on that tier. But oil dispersal seems like a good safe bet, at least for the start. Level 7, Crossfire. This seems quite good. Your streams do bonus damage. However, I'm really leaning towards Grill and Kill after trying it. And I'm realizing just how much survivability actually comes from this, as well as damage. So hitting 60 uh, enemy heroes 60 times with the ignited oil spill. Massive increase in duration and a chunk of damage increase too. This is bonus damage when you hit both heroes with your... Uh, both enemy... Uh, uh, both streams of your Q on a single enemy does bonus damage. Very good against like bosses, of course. That'd be nice for that. Uh, Incinerator Gauntlets, I actually tried this one on Infernal Shrines where I thought it'd be good and I thought it was awful, right? So this increases the basic attack area by 15%. All right, your basic attacks do 50% more damage to minions, mercs, and monsters. It does feel different and it feels very strong in that. However, your basic attacks ignite oil spills. I don't like that because I really do think that it's a very important decision on sometimes using the oil spills for the slow because it's a very large slow and it can help your teams get kills. Whereas with this, you're setting them on fire all the time. So yeah, you're kind of doing more damage, sure, and get that more survivability, I guess, when you're in the fire, but you lose out on the control aspect of when you want to slow them. So I actually don't like that. Bunker uh, drop, uh, it feels a bit like Medivh portal in that, um, unless people know to get inside of it, I don't know how good it is. Um, so half a second cast time on it, you call down a bunker and you go into it. It's got a chunk of HP and then your allies can enter it and exit it at will and you can choose where you go in or out. 
Um, and then while you're in it, you have a, a, a button you can press that shoots out a line which does damage. It's okay, right? And you get armor when you leave. It's got a very short cooldown, so you can definitely use it to like frustrate ganks and stuff like that. It could be pretty interesting. Uh, I've not seen it be any good on PTR, but uh, that's PTR. It's a bunch of random people of random skill levels in random games. So, you know, eh, I've not really seen it being used at all. Combustion just seems nice with how he already plays. Uh, you know, you charge up. There's a big slow, very big slow, and a, a decent enough dot as well afterwards. Seems pretty good, I think. Uh, level 13 then. These are all really strong looking. Suppressive fire, each stream of flame stream, which uses spell power if you're was hit by 15% for 4 seconds, up to 30%. They're going to be good against uh, teams with a lot of spell power. Seems strong. Uh, Nano machine coating. Enemies in oil spills have their attack speed reduced by 40% for 2.5 seconds. Again, that's, that's pretty strong if they've got lots of attack speed based heroes. Uh, particularly melee dudes like Butcher, whatever. Fuel leak, though, I actually think is really good. So you create oil spills when you charge with your E, and when you hit a hero, you make an additional oil spill underneath them. Bear in mind just how much self-healing you get when you ignite those, and the slow being strong. That's actually pretty good. Um, I, I, my initial thought looking at this tier was like, okay, well, that's like... That's a lot of reduction, okay, against spell power, against uh, attack speed. Oh, this is just damage. It doesn't really fit. It doesn't seem that good in comparison to the tankiness of these two, right? But it actually adds up to quite a lot. I think it's quite nice. Then, um, thermal protection. Each enemy hit by uh, your jet gives you armor, reduces the cooldown, so you can charge and stun more often, and the armor is fantastic, so I like it a lot. Heat treatment, you heal for damage up by Pyromania. Meh, you already heal for loads. Juggernaut plating, you get spell armor, and upon expiration, you gain a shield. Also seems a bit meh. I th think this one looks by far the best. More stuns is more good. Then level 20. Fortified bunker. You can cast oil spills from bunker. Seems good. Uh, anyone inside can do it. And you get more armor uh, when you leave. Seems pretty solid. Flash fire also seems pretty solid. Another big slow. So just loads of slows. Everyone's turned into a fire bat here, by the way. Where then burn notice. Your attacks slow and they do a dot. Seems okay as well. But that's Blaze. I mean, he seems really fun, honestly. And he seems very strong as well. Uh, still not sure whether he's like a solo laner, or I think this is a nice comp. <laughs> uh, and one Stukov, of course. One Stukov. <laughs> um, I'm not sure uh, if he's like more of a solo laner or a group tank. Don't know how good he is at group laning. Um, I mean, he's got plenty of wave clear, though. He seems good. Lots of AoE damage. Self-healing. I like him. I think he's probably going to be a strong addition, so stay tuned for some Hero League gameplay when he comes out in the live servers. And yeah, Malfree work tomorrow. See you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye! Bye.